In this video, we're going to talk about the Java this reference and talk about how it's used. Here I have a class where I've declared three different fields. What this class does isn't really important. Just understand this is a class where I've defined three fields, a string, an int, and a double. Eclipse will generate constructors for you using those fields. I'll select all of them. And then when I say generate, you may notice that I have super and this. Well, what's going on here? The super reference has to do with inheritance, which we'll talk about in the future. The this reference that you see here, that is a reference to the current object. So you're already aware how a class can hold object reference variables that refer to other objects. In addition, every class has a special object reference variable called this that refers to the individual object of that class. So just like the name, age, and score of a given object of the this reference class can refer to different values, the this reference for every this reference object refers back to that object itself. And we use this in our code when we want to specify exactly that we're referring to the specific field referred to by that object. Now, why would I need that? Because you'll notice the parameter names here are name, age, and score. The field names for the object are name, age, and score. And so the this reference differentiates the name, the age, the score fields with the name, age, and score parameters. So here you can see the method has three parameters, name, age, and score. The class has three members, name, age, and score. And so when we say this name, we're referring to the class variable. In this method, when we say name, we're referring to the parameter because the parameter's name being the same as a field shadows the field. So when we refer to just name, we're actually talking about the variable that is the parameter. It's not required to use this, but if you want to not use this, you have to come up with different names here. So suppose I want to have an overloaded method that doesn't have a score in it. We'll use this as an example, and then I'll create a driver to test this class. And I will add, and I think we have a name and an age. And I guess we need a two string method so that we can print that out. And fortunately, Eclipse will do that for us so we don't have to do any work here. So when I run this code, you can see that the score is zero. Now let's do another one, this two, and we'll give it a default score, let's say 40. And that's a double, so I need to add a dot zero. It doesn't like something. Oh, I'm missing a semicolon, and then I'm also printing the other variable. So when I run this, you can see I get these values. So let's come back here and see what would happen if we take this off of the score in our constructor. So if I run this, notice now test one, which actually uses this second constructor, score is zero, score is zero. For this constructor, where we pass in a score, the resulting score is null. Why doesn't this set my score to something? Well, it's because score right here is this variable. Remember, method parameters are all variables of that parameter. So when I say score, that's what is being referred to. Notice if I hover over it, it highlights that. This score, notice what gets highlighted when I double click the field. So this is updating the field. This is updating the local variable score. That's why I need this. Now notice it's highlighting where that was declared. When I run my code, it's initialized correctly. And so hopefully that helps you see why using this is important. Another thing I could do, is not use the name score here. Anytime you want to refer to a field, you can use this, but you only really have to do it in a case like this where we have a situation where we have a parameter name or a local variable that's shadowing one of the field names of our class. Ultimately, this is there for when you need to fix a situation where you have a shadowed name with a variable. When we talk about inheritance, there'll be an example where I do a longer demonstration of the difference between this and super. 